We got a call from the farmer about the pigs getting into his cattle feed. He wanted us to come get into them, so we packed up the kids and headed out. We got there early, so we decided to walk some dams to see if they were on the waters. Okay, so that breeze is perfect coming across this way. The boys Carl and Keith were having a good smell and look around, but they couldn't quite pick it up. There's definitely some scent in the breeze. I just think it's a long way out. So what I'll do is, we'll go jump in the Tilly. There's a track that runs straight up this creek. I nearly, yeah, I reckon we've got to get a bit closer. Yeah, this Carl's a bit of a strange dog. It's not like his dad and his grandfather, you know, if they smelt the slightest bit of scent, you know, they'd push till they found it. But yeah, Carl's a little bit different. You've got to really try and read him and watch what he's doing. But he, uh, he'll still smell something 500 metres away, but yeah, unless the breeze is absolutely perfect. That's about the extent of it, I reckon, 500 to maximum K. Okay, so we got back in the car and we drove probably about 500 metres past that dam and the same thing, dogs jumped off into the breeze. And yeah, it's not strong enough yet. We'll keep going, get a bit closer. We got a few hundred metres before the dogs were off again, but this time the ball was off to the side of the track. So, as you'll see in previous couple of videos, Carl probably jumped off at the first dam, about a K back. And um, I could tell that he he was onto it, you know, but just wasn't quite sure. So we jumped in the ute and we went up probably another 400 metres or whatever, and then, you know, jumped off, stuffed around again. And then probably, I don't know, maybe another three, 400 metres up the track further, bang, they floated straight off, out about 50 metres off the track and got this fella. And um, yeah. He put on quite a show. He's that not real big down the beat. What do you reckon that? 55? Yeah, just cranky. 55 dress, but very cranky. So yeah. If Carl had have, you know, originally pushed out a bit further, he would have got him, but yeah, it's just the sort of dog he is, you just gotta really pay close attention to him and read him properly. But yeah. um yeah, it was a very very good start. What have we been hunting 15 minutes? Yeah, it's good. I didn't even have me a holster on. Yeah. Good boy mate, done well. Bit of a mountain bull. What do you reckon, darling? <laughs> we loaded that ball on and headed to the feeders.
Get up. Grabber. Rightio, yeah, so the farmer told us about a big mob of pigs that are hitting it like a little feed bin. And we just thought we'd, you know, put the drone up and just buy them and then see if we can get some footage with the drone and I'll just cruise up there as steady on the on the bike if they're out. He said he seen him about this time yesterday, so yeah, they might be there. Do you reckon why I just creep myself? Nah. Oh, it's up to you, mate. But um, I've got Carl and Gruber. Yeah, well, you've only got to go straight up on that on top of that hill. On top of that hill is the feeder. Well, if that's the case, you, I might as well wait on the road and, and just film you driving up there. Because if I get up there, I'll push them all into the timberline before you get there. Yeah, but you just can, can't you go high and spot them. I can still hear, hear that. Well, the wind's blowing across pretty good. I had the drone over the feeders, but I couldn't spot anything. Little did I know that they were hiding in the shadows of the bush 100 metres away from the feeder. I just thought I'd follow Dan on the bike and it wasn't until I seen him send it off the track that mob was over to the left of the feeders. Here you see Gruber and Carl grab one each. I lost sight of Carl and kept the drone on Gruber. You know it. Dan caught up to Gruber first, dispatching it and running Gruber on to where Carl was with his sow. Gruber! Carl was keen to go again and ran on. Dan put Gruber on the bike and headed out after Carl. As Dan came over the ridge, Carl was already at the creek line. 
Here you can see him working the ground trying to find the scent of that big boar in the mob. He works his way through the timberline and bushes and quickly disappears in the top of the screen where I lost him on the drone. So Carl's run on and he's 140. this time Dan had got to the dried out creek with the bike and crossed through and Gruber jumped off. This is the same thick timber line that I lost Carl in with the drone earlier. Here you can see the pig passing through and Gruber not far behind it. Dan took care of that pig and he could hear Carl barking close by. Sounds like Carl's got a good one. Oh, good, good as me, hectic. Groomer! Groomer! My drone had lost signal and I was unable to get closer to Dan and Carl on the boar. Oh yeah, nice, good boy. Carl's a smart dog. He will bail yeah, the big boars till boy, you get there son. and then hang again. Oh, get on him. The boar had seen Dan and luckily a group arrived in time to help Carl out. Oh goodness me. Oh, the just got him. Good boy, Carl. Oh boy. Here, boy. I tell you what, mate, that was a hell of a hell of a performance, son. Carl. By now, my battery had completely ran out on the drone, and I had to have an emergency landing. But luckily, Dan had seen it and went over and grabbed it out of the air before crashing. So, it's the fourth pig out of that mob, and yeah, Carl done, and Gruber done really well. I think we got two sows straight up out of it, and then obviously we run on, I think we're three k's. Carl sort of tracked this fella, I think we're nearly three k's in a straight line from where we first started. And um, Gruber got a little ball on the way through as well, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with Carl. to get a quality pig that far after that run. And um, yeah, tell you what, mate, I'm very proud of you. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. That was very action packed. So, yeah, hopefully, we get a few more. Let's go back and find Nat and the kids now. That's that big ball. Done really well. Let's check out the knives on it. These are a good set. Right. Good boys, eh? So, one thing I was just thinking about is you know if i didn't have this quad there's no way i'd be able to keep up with these dogs and they'd either overheat or blow the pigs or you know there's just yeah it's the only way to hunt pigs though so you can be with them and then yeah there's less injuries you can cool the dogs off carry water just yeah it's it's a really good thing eh? towing quad
See, right over on that far hill is where they first hit them. So yeah, they're done really well, especially because we're out in that gully. So yeah, very, very happy. So right, I just picked up that another sour. That sour car got originally. And yeah, it's quite pretty. More pigs out that way, hey boy. Would not surprise me. Anyway, I don't really want him going after him. But yeah, that's that um Yeah, that's that in indicating thing he does to me. You know, when he does that I nearly guarantee it. Yeah, he's got this little nose movement. But yeah, I don't want him to go out there in case it's a show, you know. I'd rather him have a bit of a rest. Dan got back to me and the kids to dress him out and take some photos. While Dan was gone, the kids and I had got a little boar that ran past the ute. By now it was dark and it was time to put Rocco and Keith on the back. Yep, drive up. Drive up, they're on. You see in the back? So they just hit pigs and um, he's just broke away from them. They're on the chase again. I think I got it. Boar that I thought I was recording and yeah, I didn't. Rocco and Keith special. You want to chase the fellow? Yeah. Definitely, give him the, sl give him the slip a couple of times. How pigs is that, mate? Seven? Yeah, seven pigs. Doing pretty good. And what, it's only seven, seven, seven o'clock. Awesome. We loaded our boar up and continued on to another feeder close by. We had no luck on that feeder, but we had got seven pigs to help out the farmer and stop them from eating his cattle feed. Cheers for the support, guys. And if you want to help us out, we've just started up a new website that we've got hats, stickers, and stove coolers coming, and a few different ranges of hat styles as well. So keep an eye out and it's at www.boringaustralia.com.au Thank you guys. <laughs>